So I know people are always asking me for how to's for eyes, but remember, a gorgeous lip can transform your look too. A lip can totally make a legend. All those old school Hollywood actresses, those iconic supermodels, you know who I'm talking about. Now we've got the perfect lipstick and gloss to give you the lip looks of your dreams. You probably already know about our best-selling Be Legendary lipsticks. Editors, makeup artists, I mean everyone loves these modern mattes and hydrating creams. We'll now say hello to our new Be Legendary lip gloss. I just love how the gloss was 100% inspired by our studios. These new Be Legendary lip glosses have the same airy, glassy quality of photo gels. Gels are those transparent films that you can place over lenses to create whatever color effect you're going for. So it's never sticky, plus all of it is vibrant color. Today I'm going to show you how to create three amazing looks with all things Be Legendary. The perfect, pretty, plump pout, the 3D lip, and the two-tone, glossy lip. For all these looks, I've prepped Rachel's skin with classic primer, then applied Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder using our super cool Telephoto 3-in-1 face brush. Just click whatever coverage level you want. And since these looks are all about playing up your perfect pout, we're just gonna keep the eyes and cheeks neutral. The first look is the perfectly pretty plump pout. It's really all about creating luscious, gorgeous fullness like so many of those actresses on the red carpet. You can wear this lip every day with lighter, more neutral shades or play it up with some of our more intense ones for night. So for today, we're gonna go with the classic reds. Apply a generous coat of Be Legendary lipstick in Legendary. And I mean really coat those lips. And I'm gonna apply it with the lip brush, but you of course could go straight to the barrel to the lip. Then you're gonna take your corresponding Be Legendary lip gloss color in Legendary to bring out the shade and add more intensity. I'm gonna start first by applying it to the center of your lip so that as, it, as I apply it, it just kind of moves to the area where it's going. Finally, add Be Legendary lip gloss and a loom to the center of your lips to create a fuller, more luscious lip. This is the magic ingredient to this look. What this lighter nude color does is highlight the most prominent part of your lips to make them stand out and create the illusion of fuller lips. You can actually add a loom to any lip gloss combination to fake it. And voila, gorgeous full lips in just a few swipes. These are kissable lips. Rachel, you have kissable lips, girl. I love it. This next look, the 3D lip, is all about creating dimension with your lips. The trick is to pair warm tones, shades with brownish or yellowish undertones, with cool tones, shades with bluish or grayish undertones, for an all-over multi-dimensional effect. You can pretty much pair any warm or cool tone depending on the look you're going for. First take your warmer tone Be Legendary Lip Gloss, I'm using Coraline today, and apply a coat to the lips as the base. It's important to use the warmer tone as the base because the cooler tones tend to get lost if you put any color on top of them. Then layer the cooler color on top. On Rachel, I'm gonna be using Disco Rose. Pairing two complementary shades like this really adds dimension since you're basically taking two ends of the color spectrum and contrasting them, which creates the illusion of depth, a 3D effect. Finally, I saved the most fun look for last, the two-tone lip. I've been seeing two-tone lips all over the runways lately. It's very editorial and on trend, and the great thing about this look is you can use gloss alone for a more subtle look, or add on lipstick for the full effect. You can pair any two shades you'd like, but I personally love the pink and orange combination, or maybe even an orange and purple. For today, though, I'm gonna show you how to pair two pink glosses for something you can wear every day. Then you can experiment with bolder colors, or colors that are even more of a contrast. First, take Be Legendary Lip Gloss in Coquette and saturate only the top of your lip with this color. Then, take your second shade, I'm using Azalea, and apply the same amount to the bottom lip. And that's it! Super simple, right? But remember, you can make this look even more intense and editorial. You can actually start with Be Legendary Lipstick and then layer the corresponding gloss shade on top. The key to this is to try to pick two shades that are really vibrant, so the two-tone effect really shows. All right, Rachel, well, this is a really fun look. I mean, you're definitely gonna get noticed with this. But you know what? They're not sticky or tacky, and they feel wonderful on the lips. 